Hello, welcome again. This is our first course on, uh, this is our first uh, video on, uh, on how to code with the code igniter and we are starting from the controller. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll remind you how the directory structure will be like. This is your www folder. Within that, we have a CI, we have created a CI folder called CI. Uh, within that folder, we have put some files related to the code igniter. And this is the folder we are now worrying about, application folder. For this, uh, actually, we are not going to worry about. Okay, let's see. So, start writing. So within this, so this is my editor called Sublime Text 2, and you can use it uh, if you want, and you can use your own. I, I, I recommend the uh, editor with the this browser. Bra this you can browse the files because it will be quite easy to use. Okay, within this uh, CI, there's, there's a folder called application. Within the application, there's another folder called controllers. So this is the way we're adding a new controller. So we add a new controller called we said hello. I click on it, get a new file, we give it as C, we save it as file, save it as hello dot php. That's good. And we start the PHP file. And then and we start we, now we're creating a class for this uh, hello controller. So this uh, class hello man the you you have created the file name called simple hello.php everything is simple but if you are going to create the class the first letter of this class name uh, should be capitalized that's it we are extending extends from ci controller okay this is the class this is the base class for the controller you are extending from ci underscore controller and this is your controller class pretty straightforward and now we need to create a method. We create a method called public function. Create a okay, sort of coding. I don't like it. Public function. And we give name as one. Okay, we create a method called one, accepting no parameters. We simply echo it as echo. This is the one. Okay, now let's see how this works uh, on the browser. Go to my browser, the CI, my code igniter, and say hello. This is my controller, and this is my method. Hmm. I forgot to add something. That is, I had to put this index dot php. Okay, say this is the one. I'll just zoom it a bit clear. Okay, let's go localhost and this php. And my controller name, that's the method name. So now let's accept some parameters. Say it, okay, one, okay, two. Now I'm expecting uh, two parameters. Say two is the one, two, these are the parents. Parents, P1, P2. That's it. So let's see how this is gonna work. Now let's say hello one, two, let's say my param one, param two. Okay, uh, I forgot to add some VR tag for clarity. So like that. Okay. VR for the enter. You display some kind of enter line break. Okay, let's say one, these are the params. Param 1, Param 2. I can always change this. Okay. Ooh. So, okay. It get changed. So, this is how you can uh, create a method. We create a method inside our controller, hello controller, and we access this using the web browser. So, what happens if you forget to give any parameter? Yes, it gives us an error gives us the arrow saying uh, okay the line number five the missing argument missing argument the p so that's happened so if something is not given that give something so if you want to have the default value for this one i can give some equal to the p equal and say it's, it's the default value is um, two okay and now i can call this one and work smoothly because if there is no value exists, it will be always use the the param define 
default value we define it here. This is not a functionality of the code dignator, but it's, it's a functionality of the PHP itself. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's cool. Then we can create uh, another function. Function public function to um, we can call it as equal this is two. That's it. You can all always access this as giving hello. I know you can do that. Two. Okay, that's it. Okay, what happened if you forget to if you don't want to have a method inside your controller? Okay. What happened that if I can't I call just the controller name? Yes you can. But for that you have to create a special function called index. Public function index. And I call it as echo. This is my index function. Okay. And then I will try again. When you try again, you can say yes, this is my index function. It works there. So, so what happened actually is, so he look at the you know, routing. He look at the first parameter. First thing is the controller name. Then the second it will look for the uh, method name. If something uh, the method name has not been defined, the, he will look at the the index index method and it will be executed. That's it. Okay. Now um, I'm saying something uh, something very important. So it says we have some kind of initialization code cosec. It's it's all for, uh, it, uh, we need to apply it for the each and every method here. So we have initialization method, the initialization code something like we say we need to connect something to the database when the whatever the method we are creating. So the normal thing is you can uh, code thing everything here. Here we code here, here code you can code here. You can go here. Yes, you can do that, but uh, but that's that's an easy way to do that. So what you can do is you can create a construct and put your the the separated code behind that. I'll show you that public function with the underscore two underscores construct and call as a parent. Now we are asking the parent to add some. Uh, all the things defined in the payroll class construct okay that's it we create a construct and so we do the initialization here so it uh, type echo this is the my grammar is bad the spelling is that's fine and create a, this is the initialization cool so now Whatever the method, so uh, we are back to. So whatever the method you are calling here, it will be get call. Hello, frequent the hello index method. Is called. If you call two. There. So this for this one, you see this one you can do like as I said earlier, you can initialize a DB connection, do whatever the things are related to your application. So this is the the controller we have created a simple controller so that's it we have created the right method another one one thing to have so the coding database you cannot directly access this file this uh, uh, hello.php file then you so you can add some few uh, restriction uh, saying the people who are trying to access this one you say hackers so please don't hack access this so for that one you can clear there's a, always the created uh, File called uh, welcome.php controller within your controllers folder. This is uh, shipped with the code igniter, and in the in the top of the file you can see this line. If so, you can paste this into your same thing. So the outside uh, users cannot access this this PHP file directly, and it, it doesn't happen affect anything to the, your normal behavior. Okay, that is for the today we learned about. So we we'll look at the views. Okay, thank you very much.